For the first time, we are seeing video of the road rage incident that led to the death of 23-year-old Krista Nichols and her unborn baby. Uh, we spoke to the woman who was on the road watching these drivers. She was driving along with them when all this happened, and she could not believe the recklessness considering who else was in that car. There's a pregnant woman and a child in that silver truck, but it's not stopping the driver from getting into a road rage incident. Laura Montoya saw it all go down Saturday afternoon. Then the pickup pulls it, he cuts me out, gets on the side of the other car, and lowers his window, and then he's flipping them off. The driver's swerving, changing lanes. He even stops in the middle of the road to wait for a car. Laura says it was frightening to watch. Like, I just had this feeling something's going to happen, so that's why I was trying to keep as close as I could with them. As the truck speeds down Long Beach Boulevard, this happens. The driver loses control, sending him crashing into another car. People rush to the scene, and panic sets in when they realize that driver is not alone. When I found out who was in the car, I just couldn't believe it. 23-year-old Krista Nichols, who's eight months pregnant, is in the passenger seat. A 10-year-old boy is in the back. The trucks mangled and people struggle to get the woman out before first responders arrive, but the crash was so intense they can't. And that's the driver, Krista's boyfriend. In addition to getting into a road rage incident, detectives say he was drunk. Yep, it's your fault. Exactly. We're all still in such trauma and shock from yesterday. Um, it's been the longest 24 hours of our life. Krista's brother, Tyler Nichols, is shattered by the loss. We're all excited for this baby boy. His name is going to be Christopher. And he says the death of his sister and her unborn baby could have easily been prevented. I don't think chasing someone for blocks was a way to resolve any kind of dispute. I think if that road rage had been controlled and that anger had been suppressed, my sister would really still be here. I mean, hopefully people learn from this. When you're out there driving and someone upsets you, like, it's not worth it. Let it go. Let it go. 26-year-old Miguel Larios is now facing two counts of vehicular homicide, DUI, and child endangerment. Tyler thinks his sister would want people to forgive him. They had been together for about a year, and she was expecting his baby. I do believe, you know, even while intoxicated, it was an accident. But a deadly crash so tragic and senseless leaves people like Laura, who saw it happen, haunted by the loss. Just her image, her face is not going to leave my memory, you know. It's just, it was very sad. And Krista also leaves behind a, a five-year-old son. Uh, people who live in this area say that this stretch of Long Beach Boulevard specifically is known for road rage issues. They say it happens all the time, and they're really hoping that changes now after all this. Reporting live in Long Beach tonight, Jessica O, Fox 11 News. Oh, that is truly sad, Jessica. Thank you so much.